Bugs are Insects, written by Anne Rockwell, illustrated by Steve Jenkins. There are many kinds of insects living all around us. Ants are insects. <clears throat> so are crickets and mosquitoes. So are butterflies and bees. Insects come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. They don't all look alike, but there's a way to tell if something is an insect. Count its legs. Count how many parts make up its body. Is a ladybug an insect? All insects have external skeletons. You have a hard skeleton inside with parts that move. Your skeleton holds you up and gives your body its shape. But an insect has a hard skeleton on the outside with parts that move. The skeleton is like a shell around its body. It holds the insect up and gives its body its shape. A ladybug has an external skeleton. Does that mean it's an insect? Maybe not. All insects have external skeletons, but not all animals with external skeletons are insects. Crabs, lobsters, shrimps, and scorpions have external skeletons too, but they are not insects. Many insects have two pairs of wings and a pair of antenna. Sometimes the antenna are long like those of crickets or butterflies. Sometimes they are short, like those of beetles. But all insects' bodies are divided into three parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. There are six legs attached to the thorax. Anything that has six legs and three body parts is an insect. A ladybug has six legs and three body parts. Is it an insect? Now look at a spider. Is it an insect? It has an external skeleton, but count its legs. How many does it have? Now count how many body parts it has. A spider has eight legs, not six. So its body is divided into two parts, not three. So it is not an insect. A spider is an arachnid. Scorpions and daddy long legs are arachnids too. Now we know that a ladybug is an insect, but is it really a bug? We sometimes call insects bugs. Many people think the two words mean the same thing, but they don't. A bug is an insect with a mouth like a beak and a head that forms a triangle. A stink bug is a bug. So is a bed bug, and so is a water strider, even though it doesn't have the word bug in its name. But a ladybug's mouth doesn't look like a beak. Its head isn't shaped like a triangle. A ladybug isn't a bug at all. It's a beetle. Beetles are insects with a pair of hard wings that you can't see through that hide a second pair of clear wings. The hard wings make a straight line down the top of the abdomen when they are closed. Different kinds of insects have different kinds of mouths to suck, pierce, bite, or chew. A mosquito has a mouth that can pierce your skin and draw blood. A butterfly has a long curled up mouth part for sucking nectar from flowers, just like you suck juice through a straw. Different kinds of insects have different kinds of legs as well. Crickets have long back legs for jumping. Water boatmen have wide, flat legs for paddling. Bees have fuzzy legs that can carry pollen from flower to flower. Grasshoppers have legs for making music. Some insects are good builders. 
Ants build tunnels. Bees build honeycombs of wax that come from their bodies. Wasps build paper nests. These insects live in large communities where each helps the other. No matter what they look like or how they live, all insects have six legs and three body parts. Here are some of the creatures you might find in your backyard. Are they insects? Insects are all around, flying through the air, chewing on leaves, creeping through the grass. Scientists think that there are more kinds of insects than there are kinds of fish or birds or any other animal in the world. Look in your own backyard and see how many insects you can find. And always remember to count their legs.